Hi guys. Hi guys. It's five o'clock in the afternoon and I just woke up. <sighs> that is brutal. I pulled an all nighter last night, could not sleep. My <laughs> my throat was congested and I was itchy and scratchy. Did you take I, I tried. I, I literally didn't do anything. You didn't even try. Well, you I didn't. Took it or you didn't take it. No, I took it, but it didn't do anything. In fact, it was worse. What? I was breathing and wheezing like <gasps> a shortness of breath, Acacia. <laughs> like I've never had. I feel like I have asthma. It's so gross outside today. Oh, I don't want to breathe that. The allergies are crazy. I've never had this issue in my entire life. I've never, I've never dealt with allergies. It. I literally could not sleep last night. I just pulled on nighter and then slept in during the day. What the heck's going on? I've got something. This is good. Love always. Yeah, I love always. Guys, I'm gonna Stay. use your mask so I can breathe. Stay. Let's do this. Stay. Out into the wilderness we go. Stay, doggies. Remember yeah, when I went into the sun though, it hurt extra bad. It's a double sun, it's glasses. Double, double glasses? Glasses on glasses. Oh, that's pretty actually smart. Yeah, I thought so. Glasses on glasses. Glasses on glasses. Do you, do you know if I get close enough? I don't know if I can hear on this camera. I get the little GoPro because I need something like very inconspicuous while I can hold the water jugs. Oh, we're getting going to get water, by the way. We're out of water. They're back there somewhere. But I, you can hear me when I, I'm wheezing when I breathe. It's called allergies. I feel like Darth Vader. <clears throat> you sound like Darth Vader. What? You know what helps with that? This is the worst Star thing Wars. I've ever experienced. Like, it happens to Koi and I every year. Oh my like god. Six months out of the year. Oh, six months? This can't last six months. I it literally. Lasts six months. I. I, I, I I couldn't, I couldn't deal with this. It's impossible. That's it? Let me throw you yeah. 51 for you. Thank you. Why are you laughing, Acacia? Because you just said you were going to drink free tea at home, but the free tea isn't free because I buy it. Acacia Your just snacks basically free, I buy <laughs> slammed me into the face and said, I said, oh, I, I don't think I want to pay for a tea. I'll just I don't need get one. it at the we home. We have free tea at home. And she goes, that free, free tea at home? That's the tea I buy. Yeah. And that's not free. And I was like, oh, yeah, actually, I'm drinking your tea. So it's been free for me, but not really free for family. Keisha just left me out here with all the groceries and the water bottles. Oh my gosh, I gotta do this all by myself. Good thing I got these muscles, what? Actually, she's talking to her friend, and they're kind of doing like a prenup thing. So it's kind of like a, it's a that's a very interesting topic. I'll have to talk about that at some point in time. But yeah, that's just a fascinating topic to me. Prenuptial agreements, marriage is a fascinating topic to me. You know, I don't know if it's even about love anymore. It's almost about like contractual agreements. It's weird. Let's do this again. I got interrupted. Here's the thing. Marriage absolutely fascinates me. And why it fascinates me is primarily the fact that it is based, well, there's a conception that's based on love. You end up marrying the person that you want to have children with and have kids with and share your life with. And that's based on this incredible emotion called love. And because the state's involved, because it's a legal binding document, it actually moves from a contractual agreement, an emotional um, emotional feeling to a contractual document. that That's a very scary thing, right? You basically are going into business with somebody. You're, you're signing a contract. And these prenups are crazy to me, right? You're like, I've got a lot of money, but you don't. I love you, but just in case. I really don't know. I mean, doesn't that set the marriage up for failure right from the beginning? I don't know. There's just a lot of like, different idiosyncrasies. I, I, I've never been married. Um, I don't know if I ever will, but it's just, it's mind blowing to me. You know, do you just love someone and, and is love enough, right? You know, what, what kind of financial stability does that person need that you're loving, you know, that you want to be with? Do they want a lot of materialistic things? Do they just, is your love sufficient enough for them? And can they find that anywhere, right? If you're, if you're baking on the fact that you love somebody and that that's enough, oh, I don't know. Like, I love you and that's what I bring to the table. It's like, well, what are you bringing that the other guy's not bringing? Because he could love her too. Well, um, I might, br I could bring uh, money. It's like, mm, okay, well, the other guy could bring money too. What are you bringing to the table? Two people need to sit down, literally show their cards to each other, say, this is what I got, and this is what you got, and this is how we have to make this work. Sometimes it might not even work. <sighs> just fascinating to me. I just, I'm just so fascinated. 
by relationships and how we solidify those relationships as human beings, right? The decision to say, listen, I love you and that's enough for me. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. That is deep. Wow, that's cr Just thinking about that, that's incredible. As separate beings, as alone, right? You know, because there's just these crazy concepts of, of with, with humans, right? We're, we're alone, but we come into the world through somebody else, through the help of somebody else. We come into the world, but we're alone and we leave, we leave alone. We might, we might pass away with friends and family around us, but that's a journey for ourselves. And yet to make a decision that this is going to be the partner that you choose for life, life. That's the tattoo that can never come off, huh? That's a, that's a big decision. And that's probably why I haven't been married. It's ultimately one of the, if not the biggest decision you can make. Who you share space with, who you share your life with. That's heavy. Just thinking about it just kind of blows my mind. Amazing. Hmm. Anyways, just another little rant from the bedroom. Okay, cool. I gotta get some work done. I'll talk to you soon. Uh huh. Yeah, be sweet. Yes. Okay, cool. All right. Well, um, I'll meet you. I'll meet you there then. Just gotta invite to go hit golf balls. Whew. Good friend of mine, his name is Kunal. He's starting some really cool things. He's got this this cool like workshop where it's like almost building a school, but for entrepreneurs, not necessarily like your typical school that you go to. This is a school that teaches you how to run your own business, you know, beginning to end, and you're around all these like-minded entrepreneurs. So I think it's kind of cool. I think it might have has a chance of taking off. He's got a lot of money behind him. He's got probably this like sick building. I'm gonna check it out at some point in time. I just been too busy. Um, but he asked me to hit some golf balls and great way to forge that relationship. He's young, he's hungry, he has a great entrepreneurial spirit and that's the kind of people I want in my life. It's awesome. So I'm gonna go hit some balls. This is gonna be, actually, you know what? It's gonna be great. I was gonna say, this is gonna be a lot of rust. And I was like, you know what? It's, it's, it's exactly how I think it's gonna be. It's gonna be great. So I'm gonna hit balls great, I'm gonna stripe it. Cool, dust the clubs off, go whack some balls. I didn't get any golf balls cause it's um, cash only. <laughs> oh, that's funny, I didn't know that. Okay, well, geez, what kind of world do we live in where you can't actually use a credit card? Where's my buddy at? It wouldn't let me get balls, it's cash only. <laughs> I might have to borrow something. A large ball? Yeah, large. I was kinda like, what, uh, what year is it? <laughs> yeah, I know what's going on. How you doing? Good to see, Good to see you. you, how you been? It's been a while. Yeah. Did you really? Is that, that cool? Yeah. That's think awesome. That. Yeah. I love hearing that. I think, this, I think like today was the most time I actually hit a ball. Really? Yeah. I love hearing that. Thanks, put up man. on put it up yeah. on a tee. That's how you start. You know, that's how you yeah, get better. Exactly. All right, just leaving the range. Had a little uh had a little driving range session. It was a lot of fun. Have a good night. Hey, thanks Take care. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time. So it was fun. Got to George gave me a lesson last time I was in Westlake, so I got to incorporate some of that oh, really? stuff into my swing, so it was fun. And it's a beautiful night. It is. It is a beautiful. So I had something on uh, through uh, uh, Network Solutions in Google, I guess. Okay, yeah. And I had a, a revolving golf ball. Well, I called Network Solutions to re-up a couple of my dot coms, uh -huh. and they said when they brought up my account, it was removed permanently. Interesting. How's that? Have you ever heard of that? Uh, did you do you do you own the domain? Yeah, I pay it up to, with Network Solutions, the domain, sure, uh, and the uh, dot com, certain you know dot coms. Uh, okay. And I I got a, a guy trying to help me.